A two-year forensic investigation has revealed that the Polokwane municipality has 44 employees with fictitious and unverifiable identity documents. The report also indicates that some permanent employees hold multiple positions within the municipality. It blames a lack of oversight by management. The municipality has started with measures to verify employees. Employees who were not verified, uh, the municipality should uh, come with uh, or implement measures uh, to verify those employees. Uh, we couldn't, uh, we cannot uh, directly say ghost employees. Uh, it's just uh, issues of limitations of uh, data or inaccuracies. So when uh, the investigations were conducted, uh, the employees were not uh, found or they did not avail themselves to uh, verify their details. The municipality has also suffered a loss of 128 million rand due to excessive overtime claims. This involved over 300 employees, some of whom claim overtime while on leave. What uh, we'll do now, we'll favor you with information as and when available uh, once uh, steps have been implemented. But uh, the office of the municipal manager is uh, uh, busy implementing uh, such measures uh, as uh, directed by the special council meeting. Opposition parties in the Polokwane Municipal Council want action taken against the officials implicated. But for this Bowman's report, we want real actionable steps. With regards to the ghost workers, we need an electronic system that's uh, clearly verifiable, where managers can actually access the, the system and verify. But we hope that uh, the same ghost uh, workers are uh, investigated or, you know, try to be verified by people who are in good standing in terms of their academic qualifications. The forensic report also revealed that some contractors colluded with municipal officials to steal equipment from the municipality storeroom and later sell those equipment to the municipality at a higher price. It also recommended that disciplinary action and also criminal action be taken against senior officials and some of the contractors implicated. Masha Zipaladim, SABC News, Polokwane.